Nestled in the hills of the Slocan Valley lies the village of Sandon. Now it is reduced to a handful of buildings surrounded by ruins. But in the 1890s, it was the thriving capital of the Slocan Silver Boom. It boasted an opera house, saloons, a curling rink, and a multitude of gambling halls. Its red light district had 80 brothels. Sandon became known as the Monte Carlo of Canada. It was the first town in BC to be fully serviced by electricity, and Sandon shone brightly, illuminated by the newly invented electric street lamp. The Slocan Silver Boom started a race between the Canadian Pacific Railway and the American-owned Caslow and Slocan. The K and S were first to complete their line to Sandon. The CPR was only a few days behind. Hostilities erupted when K and S officials claimed the newly built CPR station obstructed their right of way. They sent a crew to Sandon in the middle of the night, wrapped cables around the station, and using a locomotive, wrenched the building off its foundation, sending it crashing into the creek. It was the beginning of a railway war that continued for more than 10 years. As Sandon entered the 20th century, a great fire swept through the town, and the recently rebuilt CPR station was dynamited, supposedly to prevent the fire from spreading to the red light district. Sandon never recovered its former glory. With its mines in decline, the population dwindled to a handful. Today, the town is all but abandoned and few but ghosts wander its streets.